When ETH Zurich first opened its doors, the main building looked like this. Even if it looks quite similar to back then, a lot of things have changed, especially for women. For a long time, there were few, if any, women at ETH. However, throughout its 150-year history, many trailblazers have repeatedly shattered the glass ceiling at ETH. A path at the ETH Hunkerberg campus has been named after chemist Marie Baum, who was the first woman to become a research assistant. Laura Hetzner was the first woman to qualify as a senior lecturer at ETH. Hetzner was a mineralogist and regarded as a brilliant and extremely witty scientist. She and pharmacist Hedwig Delpy were the first women to obtain doctoral degrees at ETH in 1909 and 1910. When the university first opened its doors, there wasn't a single bathroom for women available on campus. ETH student Anna Schins Musso had to write a letter to the rectorate pointing out the inconvenience regarding bathrooms for women and ask for a better infrastructure. Times have changed and since 2021, ETH Zurich provides its students with free menstrual products. It was only in 1985 when ETH Zurich got its first ordinary professor who was a woman with the appointment of architect Flora Risha Roncati. A garden on the ETH Hunkerberg campus is named after her. On the ETH Zurich Tours app you can find a campus tour about the female pioneers at ETH Zurich. For the future generation of scientists, ETH Zurich offers STEM courses for girls and the annual Zukunftstag, where children can have an insight into the topics they are interested in. ETH Diversity the Respect Office and numerous initiatives such as women associations work towards promoting equal opportunities and creating a culture in which everyone can feel comfortable regardless of gender. We know we still have a way to go here, but we can do it together because every brain counts.